Should we chase the market after Bitcoin's rally? If you're interested in knowing more about this, please keep watching. Bybit is one of the best exchanges I've ever used. It provides great market depth, a smooth user experience, and an impeccable interface. They offer an instant bonus of US$1,000 worth of Bitcoin contract positions. When you complete KYC and deposit US$100. How to do it? Simply click the link below. To complete KYC verification and deposit US$100. Then, you can choose whether you want a long or short position. However, please note that this offer is not applicable to existing accounts like mine, as it is only for new users. Nevertheless, you can still choose between long or short positions. Once done, the positions will be open for you. If the market moves in the direction you chose by 10%, you will already double your investment. And don't worry if you end up with losses, because these positions are given as a bonus. Now, let's get back to the Bitcoin market. Indeed, we have just witnessed a strong rally. If we measure from the end of this lower shadow to today's peak, it's roughly a 10% difference. A 10% difference is considered significant. But what we are truly interested in is whether there will be a genuine uptrend and another wave. Let me explain. As you can see, we had the first wave. And then there was the second wave. Will there be a third wave? You might argue that this is already the third wave. But no! We're not discussing it at that level. We're looking at it like this. At the very least, it should reach around 35,000 to 36,000 US dollars. Otherwise, it won't be convincing. Is there a possibility of such a trend? If there is, I would definitely position myself accordingly. If not, then, of course, we won't do anything. So today, let's delve into whether there will be another wave of price movement. First and foremost, the most crucial aspect is that we're currently observing a channel on the daily chart. You can see that the upper and lower boundaries are well defined. From here. Okay. These are the first touch point. The second. And the third. We have three touch points on the upper side. And two on the lower side. Totaling five touch points within this price channel. This channel is undoubtedly valid. Especially when the price hit the upper region of the channel. And it encountered resistance. Well. If we narrow down the time frame to four hours. We can observe that the recent market movement or the entire upward trend does not seem to favor the bulls. Why is that so? When the price dropped, the volume was significant. But during the upward movement, the volume was low. This could be due to the influence of market news. The volume appears lackluster. Also, when the price action hit the upper boundary, we got a long upper shadow. While it's not a problem for an uptrend to have a long upper shadow during its ascent, it's normal to see long upper shadows during an upward movement. It won't affect the uptrend movement. This particular upper shadow occurred at a significant volume level, the highest since the start of the upward trend. This raises concerns for me. And personally, I did not go long. Of course. Regarding my short position, I opened it at the downside breakout of the support level and set my stop loss. When it rebounded and stabilized, I stopped loss within a range of approximately 100 to 200 US dollars. I believed there was profit potential if it broke below. But if it were to reclaim the support level, the best approach would be to exit the position. Otherwise, the subsequent market movement would be beyond control. Now, let's discuss the period after the previous small bull market ended. There was a consolidation phase. And we have witnessed a similar pattern. What's it? First, let's draw the support level below. It's quite obvious. Then, we have the upper boundary of the channel that we mentioned before. Which has three valid touch points. What should we look at now? Let's revisit the market situation in 2019. This is the period we need to analyze. In 2019, around June, we were in a similar situation to the current one, about to continue downward. Although it happened relatively quickly, you can see that the support level at that time was crucial. Then, in this oscillation up here, I mean, in the pattern, we are experiencing. Is it possible for the price to continue to rise? The answer is yes. There have been several significant upward movements within this pattern including this segment, this segment, and this segment. However, this is the previous high at that time. This uptrend does not count, because it's part of the previous one we had. However, after it created a new high, there were a few price rebounds. If we were misled by these upward bounces, and entered the market thinking it would continue, as a bullish trend, it would result in significant losses. Moreover, these upward movements, have been quite substantial. Why? For example, the first upward movement was a terrifying 35% increase. This wave was 17%. It's more shocking. 
Let's plot it from lower shadow to upper shadow. The increase was a staggering 39%. As for the current small upward movement. It. Hold on. What is the gain percentage in this small rally? Here. It has seen a roughly 14% bounce previously. And the current rebounds. Which I believe it is. Is 10%. However, it's worth noting that the volume hasn't shown significant strength. What does it mean? If we were to consider a major bullish trend, such as reaching at least 35,000 or 36,000, then I would consider buying spots and going long. But as you can see, the volume performance is incomparable to what we saw before. The volume is quite weak for the bulls here. Additionally, comparing the volume at this point to the volume at the beginning of a bullish trend, there is a significant difference. The volume at this point is indeed the starting point of a bullish market. There is likely a significant difference in volume. Compared to the one we have now, it is evident even to the naked eye. Is this what many bullish traders are expecting? Hoping for a continuation of the uptrend? In my opinion, based on the current situation, it seems difficult for that to happen. Furthermore, typically during the initial phase of a rally, there won't be significant pullbacks. It will surge directly to prevent too many traders from taking advantage or else, it would make it difficult to move forward. Just like in the previous instance. It broke through without hesitation. And continued rising. We have a long upper shadow here to shake out some holders. However, you can observe that it started with a strong and continuous upward movement. The same applies here. Is there a similar scenario? Currently, it doesn't seem so. Now let's talk about the trend line. I believe this trend line absolutely should not be breached. If we don't experience a violent bullish trend, that we can capitalize on. This trend line will. If the market follows this type of price movement, the trend line will be broken. However, it's still unbroken. So, I will adopt a wait and see approach. Large scale rebounds like this are possible. We saw it at the end of the previous bull run. Did the price go up? Yes, it did. However, it never surpassed this trend line. I consider this trend line to be significant. If it remains unbroken, I personally won't engage in any trades from various perspectives. We can see indications that this small bull run may have already ended. Of course, a downside breakout would be the best confirmation of its conclusion. You can also see that the surges here were quite strong but lacked volume. The same goes for the sharp rise in this area, but no volume. In contrast, during genuine upward movements and sustained bullish trends, there would be significant volume with increasing traces of it. What does it mean? There is volume and it continues to increase. The volume is significant. You can compare these three upward movements with our current situation, with all the rises here, and notice that they are different in volume. When it breaks below the support level, it becomes unsustainable and drops. Afterward, after a prolonged period of oscillation in the upper range, it was difficult for the price to reclaim its previous highs after breaking through the support. Subsequently, the market showed a downward trend with periodic fluctuations and a significant drop happened on March 12th. Currently, we are waiting for a specific time period. As the accumulated time is insufficient, there is a considerable amount of time accumulated in the price movement in the upper region, measuring from here to here, which is 95 days. 95 days, 1.7 million of trading volume, which is also similar to the region below. At the moment, I believe that the accumulated time is still insufficient. It's not enough. When it has accumulated enough time, we'll get a distribution phase that releases the volume. And when there's a downside breakout, a true trending market may emerge, which is worth considering. Okay. Let's zoom in on a smaller time frame. Apart from the reasons discussed earlier, we can also examine a smaller time frame. However, it's important to note that our discussion is not limited to short-term trading strategies. For example, you could take a position from this point and then close it as the price goes up. This is fine. However, if you're holding spots, say, buying from 26,000 to 27,000, and holding them to 35,000 to 36,000, that's what we're discussing here. We're discussing whether it will reach the range of 35,000 to 36,000, not whether it will rise by 1,000 or 2,000 US dollars. The scenario we just discussed is not applicable to the short term cycle. Now, we are at a crucial decision point. Will it break through this trend line? We just drew? I believe that is the most critical question for us going forward. Okay. Of course, you mentioned that one could short based on the historical price. It's an extreme left-hand side trading strategy. But if that's your preference, 
it's not entirely out of the question. Personally, I haven't been trading this recent uptrend. I haven't gone long. I haven't gone long. I had previously opened a short position and covered it as the price broke through the resistance and turned into support. That's all. Because personally, at this point, I am no longer considering long positions. So, naturally, I haven't taken any trades during this uptrend. Now, we shall wait for an opportunity. Especially considering that this uptrend occurred during weekends. Let's take a look at the CME chart. What does the CME chart signify? It indicates. I wrote this. It indicates where the gap is. And where the CME gap is. If the gap is above the current price. And gets filled, it means an uptrend. Represented by the green color. If it's below the current price. It's shown in red. You can see a large red area below. Which represents the gap it left behind. This gap is at 27,000. Which is a distance of 1,000 US dollars. And is still significant. If there is a retracement to fill this gap. It is a highly probable event. Therefore. If you have long positions here. Personally, I would choose to close them at this level. Of course, I personally am not bullish either. At least not in terms of a trending uptrend. Indeed, this recent surge, when observed on the candlestick chart, can be considered strong. However, I believe that it will ultimately fail to develop into a sustained bullish trend. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. To like and share my videos, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the little bell button to show me your greatest support. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.